Out of nine boys, eight boys spent rupees sixty each for their lunch. The ninth one spent rupees twenty more than the average expenditure of all of them. The total money spent by all of them was. So what was the total money spent by all of them, right? Now, even before you start doing anything, you should know that option B and option C cannot be the answers. Why? He says out of nine boys, eight boys spent rupees sixty each. If eight boys spend sixty each, what is the total expenditure of these eight boys? Eight into sixty, four eighty. These eight boys have spent eighty. I mean, four eighty. So obviously, when you take the total money spent by all of them, which which is for nine boys, it should be more than four eighty. Answer cannot be three sixty four or four sixteen. Five sixty two is possible. Eight forty six, of course, is more than four eighty. So going by that. Point that rule that the answer has to be more than 480. B and C gets eliminated. So by any chance, let's say if two more options get eliminated like this, then you don't even have to put pen on paper. You can directly say that the answer is, you know, the one which is left there. Okay. But anyway, let us solve this because multiple options are still valid. Let us solve it. So nine boys are there out of which eight boys spent rupees 60 each for the lunch. The ninth one has spent rupees 20 more than the average expenditure for all of them. See, let us assume that average expenditure. Is equal to a. Now, how much is the ninth boy spent? Ninth boy has spent twenty rupees more than the average expenditure. He has spent twenty rupees more than the average. So, ninth boy has spent a plus twenty rupees. Okay. The total money spent by all of them was. What is the total money spent by all of them? Simple. Try to balance the total sum. See, average is a. What will be the total sum? Total sum of money spent. If average expenditure is a and there are nine boys. Total expenditure will be nine into a, nine a, which should be equal to. Look at the breakup. Eight boys spent sixty each, so eight into sixty plus the ninth boy spent a plus twenty. Simplify this. So what do we get? Nine a minus a, eight a equals to eight into sixty, four eighty plus twenty, five hundred. Right? Eight a equals to five hundred. What do we want? Nine a. The total money spent by all of them. Total money is nothing but nine a. So if eight a is five hundred, nine a is equal to what? Cross multiply and you get the answer. Or if you don't want to do this cross multiplication, find out the value of a from this and then multiply by nine. You'll be doing the same thing, but better if you consider it in this way, right? It looks easier. <coughs> we know that eight a is five hundred. What do we have to find out? Total money spent. Total money spent is nothing but nine a. So nine a equals to what? So what do we get? Nine a will be. I mean, uh, it will be equal to nine a into five hundred divided by eight a. So a gets cancelled. 500 by 8. What is 500 by 8? Uh, 480 by 8 is 60, and 20 by 8 is 2.5. 62.5 into 9. Right? So 562.5. That will be our answer.